All right, everybody, so something that's been requested for quite a while now, and uh, I just keep forgetting to get to it, is taking the kind of views method that we're using in the uh, admin and using it here on the front end or the public side. And uh, like most things we're doing here, uh, it's going to take a couple of steps to do that. Well, let's hop into Aptana, and let's take... And let's take a look at the structure of the page. So we'll open up the index. And right off the bat, let's uh, we're going to flip-flop from here to the browser a couple times. So we need to look at what areas of the page are going to change depending on these views. Now, off the top of my head, I would think that uh, the header would be static, or the navigation up here, and the footer would be static. Now, this, this may change. Uh, more the footer than the header but at this point to just set up a basic view system just getting this uh, middle content area here to be able to be swapped out would be a great idea so let's hop back over here and uh, I'm thinking that pretty much everything within the wrap tags right now would be considered the quote view so this is where we'd be loading the view So let's set up the file structure for that. So let's right click on the project, choose new and folder, and we'll call this views. And let's also go ahead and take a look at what we've done in the admin to do this. So let's open up the admin folder and open up index. Now if you remember, we haven't, we haven't opened this in a while, and that's because it's a pretty simple file now. Uh, I'd like to make the f index on the front end about as clean as this. So we're going to want to set up the files here, header and footer, in the template folder to kind of mimic what we've done here in the admin. So let's take a look at that. So let's take from this example here, and let's go back to our index for the public side. And uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and close these admin files here and let's open up the template folder and we don't have a header yet so let's right click on template choose new file and call it header.php alright now let's open up the footer as well and it's pretty straightforward however we're gonna wanna put the javascript the body tag and the html tag in there also Now I can't remember if I've shown you this feature yet in Aptana but uh, I'll take this opportunity to show you this feature. I'm going to kind of cut up the screen here so we can see multiple files at once. I'm going to keep the index on the left, but then I'm going to set up header and footer on top of each other. So we'll take header here, drag it over, and make a new kind of side column here. And then we're going to take footer, and we're going to bring it into that column and split that column in half down here. So just wait until you see that box show up. So now we've got a clear view of our index, the header, and the footer on the bottom. So this will help us uh, kind of see what we're doing when we cut this out. So let's first uh, go from the top of the document here, from line 1 all the way down to 21, where we'll get that navigation. And let's do a control X to cut. And we'll go into header.php and paste it, control V. And then for the footer, we're going to want from HTML up to the closing wrap tag. So let's cut that out. And we're going to go ahead and paste it below this footer tag here because we're going to have to do a couple things here. Let's paste that. Now, obviously this include here is actually referring to the file that we just pasted this in. So this footer tag needs to go right here where the include is. So let's keep this include tag here for a second for reference and let's cut this footer tag out. So control X, and then underneath the include, let's go ahead and paste that, and we'll tab it out, and we don't actually need this here anymore, but I want to actually use it over in the index now, so let's cut that out, and we'll clean this up a little bit.
Go ahead and save both of these. And let's go ahead and paste it over here in the index. And let's go ahead and paste it again up here at the top. And we'll just change the file name to header. And the comment as well. So that's where that needs to be. Now we're left over with our view.